Hey what's going on guys, Luis here and recently I had the opportunity to check out the home screen router. Now usually I don't do a whole lot of reviews on Wi-Fi stuff on my channel but um, recently I've been having a lot of issues with my Wi-Fi especially the range so I reached out to the folks at home screen and they were kind enough to send this guy out to me uh, to check it out and share my thoughts with you guys. So that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. We're going to go ahead and take a closer look at the home screen router and see how it works. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So inside the box you'll get the home screen router itself, an AC adapter, an ethernet cable, a stand, a quick start guide, and a coupon for a $25 Amazon gift card so you can actually get some of your money back. So back to the home screen, guys, this is not your typical boring Wi-Fi router. It comes with a touch screen built in to navigate the user interface and even comes with a little stylus which I definitely prefer to use over my finger. To use the home screen you do have to keep it plugged in otherwise you will not be able to turn it on but that also means that you don't have to deal with batteries or anything like that. So like I said the home screen is pretty unique because aside from using it as a standalone router it can also be used to extend your current Wi-Fi network. If you already have a working router like me but you also want a longer range and better speeds, those are features that you will definitely find here. The initial setup was incredibly easy to follow and makes it so that any person can use it. First it's going to ask you if you want to use it as a router or a range extender and then it's going to ask you some information about your network and then it's pretty much done. So if you're using the range extender feature like me then once you're done with the process there will be a new extension to your network which gives you much better Wi-Fi performance in terms of speed and range. I actually used to have this problem before where I didn't really get fast internet in my basement because my current router kind of sucks but I was able to solve it with the home screen and now I get much better reception down there and it works really well. The operating system of the home screen is also pretty functional. It has the wireless and range extender modes up top where you can do things like change the name of your network and you can also change your internet settings down here and even start the wizard again in case you want to use it with a different router. You can also update its firmware by going into settings, check how many users are currently using the home screen and even look at different statistics and filters. And there's also a few standalone apps like the weather or clock which are really nice. Now there's a couple of things here and there that need to be improved. When you unplug it and plug it back in, it takes a really long time for it to boot up which is a little bit disappointing and the screen resolution is fairly low if that's something that you're concerned about, although it wasn't a huge deal to me. Overall the home screen is a versatile router that can be your first Wi-Fi router or improve the functionality of your current one. It definitely has a lot of features and I can honestly recommend it to all of you guys who need a wider range or faster speeds for gaming or just everyday browsing. Aside from the slow booting issue and the low res screen there's really not much else that I can say against the home screen. If you'd like to check it out for yourself check the link in the description below and as always I will catch you guys on the next one.